Welcome to the spoken tutorial on if else if else and switch conditional statements in Perl. In this tutorial, we will learn about the if else if else statement and switch statement in Perl. I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system and Perl 5.14.2. I will also be using the gedit text editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. You should have basic knowledge of variables and comments in Perl and knowledge of for, for each, while and do while loops and if and if else statements will be an added advantage. Please go through the relevant spoken tutorials on the spoken tutorial website. If else if else statement in Perl can be used to test multiple conditions and when all conditions fail then it executes the default else block. The syntax of if else if else statement is as follows if space open bracket condition close bracket space open curly bracket press enter piece of code to be executed when the condition is true semicolon press enter close curly bracket space else if space open bracket condition close bracket space open curly bracket press enter another piece of code semicolon to be executed when else if condition is true press enter close curly bracket space else space open curly bracket enter code to be executed when both the above conditions are false semicolon press enter close curly bracket first the if condition it checked and executed if the condition is true. If not, then the else if condition is checked and executed if it is true. Otherwise, the code within else block is executed. Now let us look at an example of if else if else statement. Open the terminal and type gedit conditional blocks dot pl space and person and press enter. This will open the conditional blocks.pl file in gedit. Type the following piece of code as displayed on the screen. We have assigned the value Perl to the variable language. Note that eq is string comparison operator and then we have various conditions that we want to check. Now press Ctrl S to save the file. Then switch to terminal and execute file directly. Type Perl conditional blocks dot pl. Note, I am skipping the compilation step. It is not a mandatory step for executing Perl scripts. If there is any compilation error, execution will throw an error and will stop execution of script. Now press enter. The output shown on the terminal is Hi, I am Perl. Now, let us look at our next case. Switch to gedit. Assign Java to variable language as shown. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Switch to terminal and execute the file. Type Perl conditional blocks dot pl and press enter. The output shown on the terminal is Hi, I am Java. As, again, let us switch back to gedit. Now, let us assign English to language variable. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Switch to terminal and execute the file. Type Perl conditional blocks dot pl and press enter. The output shown on the terminal is I am not a computer language. The three cases imply that only one if block that satisfies the condition will be executed. Otherwise, the default else block will get executed. We can have multiple else if conditions as per our requirement like this. Here is an assignment for you. Write an if else if else statement to print I am science graduate if stream is science, I am a commerce graduate if stream is commerce 
I am an arts graduate if stream is neither science or commerce. Now let us learn about the switch statement. Till Perl 5.8, there was no switch statement in Perl. After that, switch module was introduced, which provided the functionality of switch statement. Note, modules in Perl will be covered in subsequent tutorials. The syntax of switch is as follows. Use switch semicolon press enter switch space open bracket dollar value close bracket space open curly bracket press enter case space 1 space open curly bracket executes when dollar value equal to 1 close curly bracket press enter case space single quote a single quote space open curly bracket executes when dollar value equal to single quote a single quote close curly bracket press enter else space open curly bracket executes when dollar value does not match any of the cases close curly bracket press enter close curly bracket let us understand switch using sample program open the terminal and type gedit sample switch dot pl space ampersand and press enter now type the sample program as shown on the screen let us understand how the switch statement works the use switch statement includes the switch modules inside the Perl code note we will learn about use keyword in detail in subsequent tutorials now we will test the different cases. We have assigned Perl to the variable dollar $var. The value in variable $var is checked in the switch statement. In the first case, it matches with the case Perl. So the code written against this case will be executed. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Now switch to terminal and execute the script. Perl sample switch dot pl press enter. The following output is shown on the terminal. I am Perl. Switch back to sample switch dot pl in gedit. Now let us assign Linux to the variable dollar $var. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Again, the value of variable dollar $var will be checked in switch. It matches with the case Linux, so code written against the case will get executed. Now switch to terminal and execute the script. Perl sample switch dot pl press enter. The following output is shown on the terminal. I am Linux. Switch to sample switch dot pl in gedit. Similarly, if variable dollar $var has value Java, then second case will be checked. Now let us assign English to the variable dollar $var. Again, the value of variable dollar $var will be checked in switch. It does not match any of the case statements, so the else statement will be executed. Now switch to terminal and execute the script. Perl sample switch dot pl and press enter. The following output is shown on the terminal. I am not a computer language. The three cases imply that the value of the expression decides the case to be executed. Only the valid case will be executed and when there is no valid case then the default else case will be executed. It is not mandatory to write else case. In such scenario, if none of the cases match then there will be no output from the switch statement. <coughs> Here is another assignment for you. Rewrite the previous assignment given earlier in this tutorial using switch statement. Let us summarize. 
In this tutorial, we have learned if else if else statement and switch statement in Perl using sample programs. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict hyphen intro hope you enjoyed this pearl tutorial this is amol brahmankar signing off thanks for joining